My name is Thomas Prano. I'm a respiratory therapist and I'm the clinical educator for respiratory therapy services at St. Joseph's Healthcare in Hamilton, Ontario. We are a 600 plus bed hospital. We've got uh, 21 uh, fully ventilated beds plus another uh, 12 medical step down beds where we do non-invasive ventilation and other ICU type of care. The population we get, we have a large uh, respiratory population because we serve as the attachment uh, for the region for uh, respiratory diseases as well as renal diseases. So we get a lot of uh, people with respiratory failure from a variety of causes. Our ventilator rates around 88 to 90 percent most of the time. Because the healthcare world is rapidly evolving and best practice guidelines are constantly changing and healthcare is moving towards a new paradigm with lots of technology incorporated, it's so important to embrace change. So I feel that it's very important to include new technology as it develops and helps contribute to patient care. I first saw the Palma Vista device at a respiratory conference in Vancouver, British Columbia, and I thought to myself, this is going to be a game changer in the ICU. And I knew that this is something I wanted St. Joseph's Healthcare to be at the forefront of. The main cause of being the ICU is still respiratory failure. So it is interesting that with respiratory failure, we have, you know, we have some degree of monitoring. We can monitor oxygen saturation, we can monitor blood gases, we can monitor changes in the pressure on the ventilator and how different uh, changes affect the flow and affect the gas exchange of the patient. This is another monitor to actually help give us more regionalized information and more detailed information to the individual. So I, th I, just, I see this as the next step in us being able to get the information to make more individualized uh, choices in how we ventilate patients, to optimize it to a person. Sometimes this can be challenging with the type of monitoring that we may have available to us. So we tend to branch out and use more advanced monitoring to really determine each individual characteristics of the patients. Most of the measurements that we do in the ICU give us a global picture of the patient and we had not ever seen this regional ability to monitor someone at the bedside. If we want regional information we were doing chest x-rays or CT scans, however being able to monitor this at the bedside has really broadened our scope of uh, monitoring. Some of the things we've learned is that what we know or what we think we know about what's going on in the patient's lungs just by our global monitoring at the bedside was a lot less than we anticipated. We've been able to more aggressively recruit our patients when we've been slightly hesitant to do so. And it has helped us even with aggressive weaning of our patients when we've realized that the PEEP setting we had after aggressive diuresis was too high. And we were aggressively able to wean PEEP in a manner that we probably would not have without this information. As I think of how we can actually use this to improve patient care. Uh, and really, you have to understand that on an individual basis before you can design studies that can look at it on a population basis. It's hard to say whether we would have had a complication if we had not used the Palma Vista. However, using the device to assess recruitability, so those who are recruiters or non-recruiters, or people who are PEEP responsive, I think it's showing us that regional information has helped with the decision making to continue or not in terms of how aggressive we're being with the patient. There are many hypothetical improvements to things such as time efficiency, cost savings, and quality improvements that the device could offer. We have not studied them yet. However, I find it hard to believe that optimizing a patient earlier, weaning them more aggressively, or preventing them from failing extubation would not result in these types of outcome benefits. To describe in short how I feel this device is beneficial in the ICU, we have a monitor for hemodynamic status of the patient. We have a monitor for our ventilator settings. Now we have a monitor for ventilation distribution at the bedside.